Hey again, David Henry from Inspired Tennis. I want to do a quick video tonight to talk about machine maintenance. Um, I am obsessed with machine maintenance. A um, couple different areas. Um, first of all, I just keep my machine clean, so I dust it and clean it and, and take, take great care of it there. Uh, but the pieces of machine maintenance that are important to my clients, my stringing clients, um, relate to the clamps. And basically, uh, it's just about keeping those clamps really clean because these clamps, the gripper and then and then the clamps, both um, after time with a lot, especially with the polyester strings, a lot of synthetics, there's just this residue that from gripping the string real tight, this residue will get built up on the clamps. And then over time, because of that residue, the clamps are not clamping down on the string properly and you can get the string, you can get slippage of the string or cause the string to slip. And I am all about avoiding that whenever possible. I want to produce the highest quality string jobs for my clients, most consistent string jobs. So I make sure that I always have my clamps um, very clean and in great working condition. I do it probably about two times a week, maybe um, three times a week if I'm doing a high volume of rackets that week. And then another good rule of thumb, I, I hardly ever string natural gut, um, but because gut is so sensitive uh, type of string, it's always great to have your clamps really clean um, when you're doing natural gut. So a good rule of thumb to follow is if you're doing natural gut to always uh, clean your clamps before you do that string job. And really, uh, that, that, that's about, about it. Um, you know, so that's, that's important, obviously, to you, my clients, or any of my clients that, that um, burn rackets to me. And then if you're a stringer, um, and if you're watching this video to learn about how to maintain your machine, it'll obviously help you as well. So what I'm going to do first is show you how I um, clean one of these clamps. So come over here. I'll take the clamp and I will open it up pretty wide there. You can see the gap there between, between the teeth. And I just take a standard old toothbrush. I have some rubbing alcohol here. I just dip the toothbrush in kind of shake off the excess alcohol because I don't want it dripping wet and then I'll just work work the toothbrush over the clamps uh, or the teeth. So I'll come come in on one side and then come in on the other and you know you use decent force just like you would when you're brushing your teeth. You just want to work all of that residue off the, the teeth and get it as clean as possible. So I'll do that here for a few seconds like that and just really work at it. That's about it. Then what I do sometimes is um, I really want that alcohol, um, that liquid to dry up. So I have this little air gun that I kind of spray down in here sometimes to kind of, to kind of get it to dry dry a little quickly. Sometimes I'll actually go into the bathroom, grab a blow dryer, and, I, and, I, and I'll get it, um, you know, put that through, through the clamps, put that hot air through the clamps and get it to dry quickly. And then just let them air dry for a while. I always try to allow plenty of time um, after cleaning the clamps before I'm going to do a racket so that I make sure they're, they're always dry. So I do that for both of my clamps to get them as clean as possible. Then what I do is in a, the clamps obviously grip the string, clamp the string, and the other part, part of the machine that clamps and grips the string is the, is the gripper over here, my linear gripper. Um, so the string goes in there, grips it, and holds it so it can get residue in there as well over time. Um, so it's good to have that cleaned. Um, in addition to your clamp. So what I do with that, I like to take, I, I found, you know, just, just a standard old shoelace. And what I do is I basically will get a portion of that shoelace loaded up with, with the rubbing alcohol. Then I take that shoelace and I kind of thread it down in there. And then I push forward and go back and forth. So I'm getting one side of the gripper. Then I'll kind of pull backwards and go back and forth and get the other side of the gripper, kind of go up and down. Kind of just like, you know, like brushing your teeth on the on the other clamps, kind of like flossing teeth with uh, with this clamp, so, or with this gripper. And again, just work it back and forth. Again, I'll take it and kind of get it to dry um, nicely, and then I'll just let it air dry. Okay, and... Um, that's really all there, all there is to it. Uh, that's the most important um, part of, of, of the machine maintenance. Again, I keep it clean. I tighten down the bolts. 
Um, it's got self calibration, so I don't ever worry about that, you know. But I do check that from time to time as well. But the regular ongoing maintenance re relates to cleaning the clamps and cleaning the gripper. So again, no string slippage for any of the string jobs that I do for my clients. All right, gang, thanks for checking in.